as David Banner so eloquently put it, being a visionary is a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because you're the only one who sees it, but it's a curse because you're the only one who sees it. The greater uh, your understanding is of this current um, plane of existence, this physical plane of existence that uh, we all have to endure, the greater your understanding is, um, I don't want to necessarily say the more depressed you will become, but maybe the more stoic uh, you may become. Uh, you may find yourself, uh, maybe, you know, maybe even you may come off to be uh, kind, kind of weird or off-putting to some people. And if you always had a certain light within you, maybe you always did come off to be kind of off-putting to some people. But it becomes far more uh, prevalent the greater uh, your knowledge is. The greater your knowledge is, the more burden you may feel by it. Because you're not any longer uh, looking at this world from the perspective of the average drone in this society. Uh, you may uh, begin to become more isolated uh, from family, friends, uh, just people in general. You may uh, actually begin to enjoy much more uh, your own time alone with your own thoughts. And that's another thing. You may even be more comfortable. Even though um, it, it becomes more burdened, you become more comfortable with your own thoughts. Because there is a bit of a relief and happiness that does come with having this greater understanding. But at the same time, uh, there's a burden that comes with it. As they say, uh, heavy is the head that lays the crown, that wears the crown. So yeah, you know, a lot of people around you are meant to just be drawn. Most people are not meant to um, really understand or wake up to this current world and, you know, what's really going on behind the curtains. You may explain certain things to people and they just don't digest it and they don't... Um, accept it too well because you know uh, uh, many of us were pre, uh, predestined to um, have a greater understanding a greater level of understanding uh, many of us were predestined to be awakened so you know it's all right that uh you know you may, you may try to indulge or uh, release certain information or drop certain jewels on certain people and they don't really reciprocate it that well because it's just not meant for them. You have drones, then you have people like ourselves who are um, divine. In this current world. Alright. Don't be afraid of isolation. Don't be afraid of being alone. Don't be afraid of solitude. Alright. Most people in this world. Especially in this society. Called America. Uh, are drones. You know. They're just drones. Whatever, um, you know, they just react to a lot of outside stimuli. You know, they use that word, uh, the word nigga, 
in a negative light. But just according to that, the understanding of what, you know, people try to say that that means, yo, the average American is a nigga today. Because everybody in this society is a fucking drone. And people like us, we're truly on our own. Um, certain calamities and uh, catastrophes uh, will be um, heading towards this society very soon. And it is, it would behoove us to um, prepare ourselves for that mentally, physically, and otherwise, spiritually. All right, these are the end times. These are the end days that the Bible speaks of. Um, just have to endure. All right, don't let it get to you too much. You know, enjoy it. Enjoy, it, you know, for for you know, or as much as you can. But understand. We're alone here. This is Babylon. This is captivity for the black male. It's not meant for uh, for us to be comfortable here. All right. So, you know, with that being said, I think that'll pretty much conclude this video. Peace.